Christmas or Happy Hanukkah, Glorious New Year's. In a simple words, Happy Holidays from Tom here at Rabbit Ears on location on the famous Tempton Stairs in Odessa, Ukraine. Happy Holidays! The Honorable Lawrence F. O'Brien. I'm so excited to be with you to host the Rabbit Ears 2017 Holiday Special. In fact, I was so thrilled that I mailed announcements to all my friends and family. Of course, when mailing these announcements, I'm sure to use zip codes. If you recall, zip codes are a great way of making friends. Just the other day, I chose a random zip code and it took me to a Chuck E. Cheese. This year, we have two tantalizing shorts for you. Please enjoy the first one, entitled Touch of Magic. Is this the way to Babes in Toyland? Something tells me this is the kind of touch that leads to a restraining order. Tad Tadlock overacts, but just a tad. <laughs> I say, I was on my way to Camelot and ended up in the void. Why is the entrance barred? Kids, with a Chuck E. Cheese and the Medieval Times, love each other they very much. <laughs> That's how nightmares are made. This, this way to there? the very fine people rally, bring your tiki torches. Certainly not chastity belts. I feel this is on the Disney World cutting floor for New Kingdoms. Yeah, this is the worst Disney ride ever. Willy Wonka, having handed over his chocolate factory to an 11-year-old, decides to terrorize the auto industry instead. Okay, who hired Norman Bates? Oh Lord, they move! The dolls are real! I can only express frustration through the magic of shadow puppetry. Let's pretend we're living the magic The choreography of the said to act like the floor was made of ice. Should I fall now? Oh no, time is moving too fast. So the opposite of 2017? Now it's going in the other direction. I, I think I'm going to throw up. Isn't that the flag for the Goblin Kingdom? That's not a real place. Neither is the Netherlands, but you don't hear me complaining about that. And the plague was running rampant. That's my problem with women. You don't know how to be a gentleman? No, I don't know how to dance in tights. Look how they hug him. He's got so much flexibility. I'm going to ignore that you said that. I, I, I still think making this KKK hat character subtly white supremacist is hilarious, but, but, but I don't want to cross any lines. Did he just trap her in her own castle? Why is that a problem? And through the magic of cinema, he's now a dragon. Huh? I'm Gamera. I was never good at the whole catching thing. That's why I need a magic sword. Well, I'm not up on my whole defeating the dragon etiquette, but that seemed like a cheap shot to me. If this is joy and laughter, I'd like to have Ziggy Stardust and the Chuck E. Cheese dragon back again, please. I'm pretty sure that Star Trek already did an episode like this. Don't mind me over here, I'm just the magical sword you used to defeat the dragon. Lying here in the dirt all by myself. Did you know they were here? Let's get out of here. It's too late. The acid just Please. wore off. The magic I think the I just got temporal whiplash. What? We? And here we have the long lost alternate ending to Greece. 
Marshmallow mode. Activate. Oh, please don't fall on me. Please don't fall on me. Don't fall on me. This is the third worst car commercial I've ever seen. I'll try it. I'm not sure why we need to drive when I can teleport us anywhere, but at least now we're in style. You think that's smooth? Wait until she realizes I've unbuttoned her bra. How did we get here? We were just flying in the clouds. It's bewitchingly beautiful. And so am I. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Look who wants a lift. Was that Dwayne Johnson? Get away from my woman, buddy. Behave yourself. Blueberry mode, activate. Would now be the wrong time to tell you I'm afraid of heights? That's okay. I'm afraid of commitment. We'll do fine together. You will be enchanted by its comfort and power. I will be enchanted by its comfort it and power. I feel like everything's coming up roses. Okay, it's one thing for a car to fly, but that guy is on a motorcycle. What's keeping him from falling off? He sure does have a sweet ass. Whoppers mode active. Never mind. For 1961. Let's fly this car without a driver. Nothing wrong with that idea. Designed and engineered for the spell of the open road. But for the love of everything holy, don't actually she take it onto the open road. Like the night. She rides in Buicks like I like sitting on the edge of the car because it makes me feel like I'm flying, especially when I fall off. I hate these two with all my might. The balloon budget for this ad must have cost more than one of the cars. How long do we wait back here before the driver shows up? And now the Cupids are back. I'm beginning to like this. So am I. There's no time well, like the past. People no time at all. A touch of magic will fix that. Oh. I wasn't saying marriage. I was just oh, saying Jake. a more out-of-the-way hotel. This dream house you and I will share was planned for us by Frigidaire. Because when I think cool, I think Frigidaire. Surprise. Aladdin's lamp has had its day. This modern magic is here, here to stay. stay. Oh, that can't be Let's the same house. Warming. Honey, did you pay extra to have all the vortex installed? I can't stop spinning. And just a bunch of speed and I will cook everything in the kitchen. Watch me go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with all that food, but I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. They say pie are square, but pie are round. Corn cakes are square. Gee, I'm tired. I think we're all on, tired of this fort. Oh, look. Here are the Smiths in a new Pontiac. Does anyone else what not see the Smiths? What a dream automobile. Hi, kids. Get a load of my Oldsmobile. Waiting for five. Merlot. Safe, One couple's so tragic descent energy. into madness after a failed dinner party. It's Dr. and Mrs. Brown. Good evening, newlyweds. Where do I Honey, my you watch the front of the car, and I'll watch oh, the smart. back. Smartest thing he ever did. Well, everybody is here now. I, I, I wonder how much avocado toast it cost to buy that as a wedding gift. As an H stamps, everyone. In your garage. Help! You, we're stuck in the car! No one will let us out! Can you see us? Don't just dance off! Is there a specific exorcism for when Jello Jigglers disappear? Do you think the budget for other actors was spent on balloons? She said, teeny weeny. <laughs> the acid is kicking in again, and it's done. After the party is over and done with, what a man. You'd think their trash would be invisible as well. The sign of a truly inconsiderate guest.
I've got the entertainment blues so bad. Away your cleaning up blues, just pick up the plates, the button is pressed, and the dishwashing unit does all the rest. Stop throwing dishes at me. Washed and dried, they're back on the shelves. Okay, this house is kind of haunted. The end. Well done. Oh. You must be tired. Not me. I'm ready for another party. I wasn't talking on the phone, so I'm good to go. I always thought public relations was a type of shower curtain. I'm as gay as a lark. Show me a sign. Mommy, you won't deny me tonight. <coughs> Baby making time. Back to the clouds where I feel safe. Man, the 60s were weird. Pete, weren't you alive in the 60s? Nope. I really hope Joseph March and Edward Oliscu don't quit their day jobs for this. This music was so Kaplan! <laughs> Ow! Art direction? Really? <laughs> well, that was the evil clown. Oh, okay, good point. Good enough did the special effects? More like not good enough. Frederica Furs are freaking fantastic! Wow, that. Oh, wow, that was enthralling. What says Merry Christmas like a demonic clown and fire-breathing dragon? And who wouldn't want a ghost in their house that cleans dishes? Very uplifting. And now, for those of you who need the tips on how to iron pants, here's an instructional video, very short, 12 minutes long. Enjoy. I'm pretty sure I saw a horror movie that started this way. If the kid in the mirror starts moving on her own, I might scream and pass out for a little bit. Don't mind me. Other garments that have always been a chore on the ironing board have been Mary's own wash dresses, requiring up to 15 minutes work on each. We've secretly replaced Mary's ironing board with a giant pasta maker. Let's see if she notices. If the sleeves have gathers at the top, they may be placed over the point of the shoe, pulled out, and ironed from the fullness down to the bottom of the sleeve. If it doesn't, you're screwed. Just stop now. If there is a cuff on the sleeve, Mary uses the pressing action to dry it thoroughly. Mary doesn't have a lot going on. The shoulder seam can be ironed double on the end of the shoe. All of this is well and good, but does it roll out pizza dough? Or, if the dress is made with a large enough opening for the neckline, the shoulder can be placed on the end of the forming board singly and ironed without creasing. I'm actually thankful we didn't see part one of when this. When the waist is open to the belt, Mary irons the fronts separately, placing the garment on the forming board and doing one front on one end of the shoe and the other front on the opposite end. Did he just mansplain fashion to his 1940s housewife consumer base? When the dress is fitted at the waist, making for a small waistline, Mary irons the underarm seam first by placing the dress doubled on the forming board and ironing for about four inches from the seam toward the center of the dress. She later misses this iron section when ironing the body of the dress. Now Mary irons the hem to ensure an even hemline. By the time she finally finishes all these extra steps, the dress will have gone out of style. She puts the body of the dress over the shoe and forming board, exactly as she used to do with her ironing board. Throughout iron right operations, nearly all moves are familiar to hand ironers. Only, they are much easier and faster. Yes, this looks much easier and if faster, all right. Longer, as in the case of a house coat, she does the top first, then slips the iron ah, off yes, the end of the shoe the house and coat. irons around Who the lower doesn't part have of the one of those these days? She has learned to always put the wrong side of the material down. This brings out the design in printed patterns and imparts a better finish to all synthetic materials. Oh, hey, girl. Wink, wink. 
Men's shorts are a cinch. She takes the crotch seam and brings it back to pull one leg inside of the Please other. Please make sure that the shorts are off the man before grabbing the crotch seam. When the material starts to wrinkle, she raises the roll, straightens and rearranges the material, and continues until the finish. If you're giving instructions for when your ironing machine inevitably starts to wrinkle your clothes, I think it's time to cut your losses and sell something else. Men's wash slacks are no trouble either. She first irons the pockets. All those who suffer from unsightly pocket wrinkles need suffer no more. Then, over the open end of the shoe, she irons the top from the fly on around the pocket to the middle of the seat. She then irons the other side the same way on the other end of the shoe. Wait, are they ironing Slacks shoes? With in front. What and have I missed here? By placing the front on the end of the shoe and ironing with the pleat from the top of the trouser down to the bottom of the fly opening. You really have to ask who this film is made for, don't now you? Now she lines up the seams in the trouser leg and feeds the cuff in first, ironing to the crotch. Or you could try placing the shoe on the front and then ignoring the fly opening altogether. Then, retaining her hold on the Somebody leg... Somebody just nudged him awake, the didn't they? open end of the shoe and continues up the crease to the top of the trouser. Where is the shoe he's talking about? She turns the leg over and repeats this on the other side, using the left knee control frequently to dry out damp seams. Let's show you this part again. Damn, I was kidding! Hallelujah! A change of scenery. Go to my happy place. My happy place. Wool slacks or trousers offer no problem either. Damn it, Iron Wright. We were so close to freedom. Merely by placing a strip of wrapping paper between the shoe and the material. Great for Christmas gifts and bar mitzvahs as well. Curtains. Ruffled curtains are a real project for the hand ironer. Big double curtains take up to an hour apiece on the ironing That's board. That's why they are outlawed in 14 this states as Mary well Jones as Iowa. Iowa is a state. It is? Yes. Minutes. Then why does the flag the only have 50 stars on it? Let's just that, move on. Mary easily slips into the restful iron right rhythm. She inserts the ruffle at a slant over the end of the shoe <coughs> and lets the ruffle run off naturally, ironing a small section at a time. This is where the points at either end of the iron right shoe can really be appreciated. Part of the ruffle should be done on one open end and the remainder on the other. Why was this the made? The, the slant, short or the, the iron right? runs directly into yes. the ruffle to the seam, exactly as in ironing by hand, but without any weight lifting. It is one of the things that really sold Mary on iron right. Shortly before she lost These her right hand in what is known as places, the incident. Pleats, yokes, ruffles. With ordinary ironers, the user normally has to finish these by hand. The body of the curtain is ironed with the ironed ruffles extending over the ends of the forming board and shoe. I'm pretty sure this has ironed all the joy out of my soul. Regardless of the width, the curtain can be ironed in sections until it is done. The end. Regular flat work, upon which Mary Jones first started to practice when she first got her iron right, is no trouble at all. Sheets, as large as they come, Mary irons by folding lengthwise and ironing down the selvage edge from the wide hem to the small hem. I, I really don't know what to say here. Let me go get my copy of the Articles of Confederation. To avoid wrinkling, she raises the roll and shakes the sheet out when loose material gathers. Mary then wishes she was not living in the 1950s. After running the selvage edge through, she takes the sheet out of the ironer and lays it in her lap in this manner. Next, Mary wonders why she's wearing a tablecloth. She then feeds the small hem end in and irons the other selvage. <laughs> the ironing continues until the sheet is folded in four and passed through for the fourth and last time. This process takes approximately 18 hours. 
Technically, the pony shirt I got for the photo shoot that I couldn't wear was a... It's a men's shirt. Yeah. We're, hello. Today at Rabbit Ears, we're talking about bronies. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, whatever. On this episode of Rabbit Ears... A smooth, iron-right iron sheet like this is a sure cure for insomnia. As is this movie. Because of Iron Right's two open ends, large linen tablecloths can be ironed singly with no creases, especially embroidered cloths. Wait, was that her husband? Did she just tuck in her grown husband like he's five? With other ironers, it is almost impossible to iron the center of a cloth like this without creasing it. Okay, now I just need a ruin. rope, a wrench. And so it goes. Try to stump iron right? It can't be done. Oh, From I beg to differ, sir. To napkins. To tablecloths. To frilly dresses. Lingerie. Lingerie? The most fragile nightgowns. Come see our Little booth at the Minnesota clothes. State Fair. Little boys' clothes. More little girls' clothes. Clothes of all kinds for big girls and big boys. Ahem. I believe Ruffles they call the them plus size and husky now. Knife pleats by the dozen. There's nothing hard for Iron Right. Nothing that Iron Right can't do faster and better. Thousands of ruffles? That's my Besides favorite all chip. Its other accomplishments, Iron Right can be used to steam velvet with the aid of a moistened towel over the shoe. Your mom was a moistened towel. Seriously? The this short has short circuited my brain. Fair enough. Ease of operation. The end of ironing drudgery. The two identical usable open ends. Your mom was a moistened she towel. Do without them. Seriously? The tilt up forming board that makes arranging any garment easy. Iron Right is not points. just robot. Iron Right's alive! Iron away. The heat holding under roll cast iron shoe sends the heat directly up into the garment and not into the user's face. The two simple adjustable oh, look! Knee controls. A helpful reminder to make an appointment with your gynecologist. Thanks, Iron Right. Streamlined styling with satin finish and rounded corners that can't catch garmentally for use with Iron Right ironers. It ensures perfect seating posture and comfort and adjusts itself automatically as you change positions. Just look at Three these unrelated and useless photographs. Model 80, designed for the home laundry. Model 85, a smart unit for any homemaker's kitchen with baked enamel finished hood that is a worktop area. And just end. The cabinet model in either cabinet mahogany or honey model? finished hardwoods. What? A piece of furniture that will fit into the decor of almost any room in the house. You sink but my battleship. The, model, the iron right is the same soundly engineered, time tested appliance built by a company that has always devoted all of its attention to the production of Iron Right. Iron Right. It is the, the company that's always devoted that itself the last to itself. Revolution. Remember yes, when you had Mary dreams, Jones Mary? Has a lot more to look forward to than had her grandmother. Grandmother's flat iron has been retired now, and so has its lineal descendants. Its descendants were books? Mary's health, her look, her disposition are safe for a long, long time. Iron right. Since because appearance is all that a matters. Pleasure, a Smile, sweetheart. With Iron Right. I didn't see the irony in any of this. How about that, Mary? Oh, how about that, Mary, huh, guys? Wowza. I'm one very glad person to know how to iron my pockets now. And speaking of pockets, it's now time to say goodbye, sadly. Remember, zip codes are quite possibly the most important thing on planet Earth. Even people living in the Guadalupe Islands use them. Actually, that's a lie, but they should. Merry Christmas and good night. <laughs> Thank you.
Beautiful.